Good morning, everyone. I am your host, Olivia Cohen, coming in live from the Durfner Judaica Museum here at the Hebrew Home. And this is Good Morning Hebrew Home. I'm having teleprompter difficulty this morning. Um, so today is Tuesday, September 22nd. The time is 10.30 a.m. And we have a great mini show planned for you today. So let's get into the news. We'll take a look at the weather in our neck of the woods. According to the uh, Weather Channel, today is plentiful, plentiful with sunshine and temperatures will be high in the uh, 70, going up to 73 degrees today. So um, sunny, a little warm, bring a nice jacket if you're going outside. Um, we have some blankets in the art studio. If anyone's interested, let a tap person know. Let's move to this day in history, September 22nd. 1961, President John F. Kennedy signs legislation establishing the Peace Corps as a permanent government agency which could provide a new and unique weapon in the war against communism and reinvigorate U.S. foreign policy by improving the lives of people in less developed countries. Same day, 1994, friends, the TV sitcom was created by David Crane and Marta Kaufman. Debuts on NBC starring Jennifer Aniston, Courtney Cox, Lisa Kudrow, Matt LeBlanc, Matthew Perry, and David Schwimmer. Anybody remember watching that show? I was a big fan. I don't remember it at all, any specific episodes, but I did watch it all the time. Other things happening today, it's a Business Women's Day. So any professional business ladies happy women's business day it's a weird title but thank you uh it, what i was reading about is since the 1940s women have been taking uh more of a role in the business place um so uh and really uh stepping in so happy business women's day it's also doodle day doodle meaning like drawing doodles so um, if you'd like to take part in today and you need some uh, materials, let us know. We have tons of art materials, but it's a good day to just get out and freely express yourself with some art. Uh, it is also, and this I will not partake in, but it is white chocolate day. And I don't like white chocolate. I like milk chocolate and dark chocolate. So if anyone's thinking about getting me chocolates, those are the chocolates. Uh, Andrea, but uh, famous birthdays for today. Andrea Bocelli, born uh, 1958 in Italy. Uh, he is best known as an Italian operatic pop tenor who is blind and has performed in a number of live opera performances, including Rodolfo and a production of La Boheme. If anyone's seen La Boheme, Rent was based off of that. We watched that in Glee Club. It was very exciting. Um, and he has also uh, recorded a number of complete operas, including La Boheme, uh, Il Travatore, and Tosca. I'm looking at Lisa to make sure I said these things right. <laughs> Thank you. I got the thumbs up. His accomplishments also include singing The Prayer, which was live with Celine Dion. I love that song. At the 1999 Grammys, I remember that. And um, that was a very, very um, beautiful song that's been done a number of times with other duets and, and things like that. But they, they really hit the nail with that one. Resident birthdays for today. We don't have any staff birthdays, so there'll be some more tomorrow. Um, but resident birthdays for today, we have Joyce L, Alta L, Sandra G, and Vincent A. Happy birthday, everyone. Today's lunch will be, uh, soup will be a garden vegetable soup. The entree will be beef and pasta and dessert applesauce. Uh, dinner will be minestrone soup. For entree, we have eggplant parmesan, linguine with a garlic olive oil, and dessert will be an orange sorbet. And so that brings us to our positive news story for the day, everyone. Uh, an interesting story that I just wanted to share with everyone. There's a lot going on in the news with things that are happening in California right now. Actually, there's just a lot going on in the news in general. Um, but this was a story I thought would be pretty interesting. So, a new state-of-the-art satellite imaging program will allow California fire authorities to map every individual tree in the state as a means to better plan and monitor for fires. The catastrophic fires uh, typifying the last 
few fire seasons in California's forest have had scientists brainstorming. Oh, we have a call. <laughs> yeah, let's pick it up. Pause there. Hold, please. Okay. Thank you, Caroline. This is Caroline, right? Thank you. Okay, we'll see what we can do. All right. Bye bye. Oh, the volume is not working. If anyone else can't hear, uh, give us a call. Mics are on. Yeah. Well, we'll keep going, but um, all our mics are working on here. I wonder if it's a specific thing over there. So uh, if you can't catch this one, you can always catch it later at 630. Um, so back to the story, we're brainstorming new and better ways to combat them and one effort from the startup Salo Sciences called the California Forest Observatory, CFO, uses satellites and a, uh, artificial intelligence to create a map covered in small green points. Each of these points represents a real tree, which together represents one of the most ultra detailed satellite pictures of the Earth's surface available. This will allow wildlife authorities to predict and plan where fires are starting, where they might be headed, and how damaging they might become using information like wind speed, direction, canopy height, and ground vegetation cover. The CFO creates these pictures from a string of 100 bread, bread loaf, Lisa makes bread, <laughs> bread loaf sized satellite cameras managed by a private company formed by NASA scientists called Planet. Uh, spinning in a line, they all act, spinning around, uh, spinning in a line around the Earth, they act like in unison, like a barcode scanner of our planet's surface. Taking images at about three meters per pixel, an order of magnitude higher than those taken from larger and older satellites. The satellites are then aided by a laser technology that gathers information mounted on a plane. Before both streams of data are fed into a deep learning algorithm which determines things like tree height. Um, this was all very interesting to read, much harder to verbally share with you all. But it's this very intricate technology that will let everyone uh, track these, these trees and see what's going on in um, California. So, um, yeah, it's a very expensive progress, but, you know, there, it's just one way. There are a lot of things going on in the world right now, but there are people out there trying to use technology to make a difference. So um, what are your thoughts? Give us a call. Any good news you've heard and would like to share on the show, please dial 2813, leave us a message. Um, let us know down below in the comments, what are your thoughts? Uh, you can also like this video on YouTube if you're watching and you can hit subscribe so you never miss an episode. Remember to tune in to channel, late, uh, channel eight later today. We have song celebration at 1115. Art history is off air today. And on a musical note, will take place later today at 3.30 with Peter. And like I said before, if you forget, you can catch this episode of Good Morning Hebrew Home on Channel 88. Or if you're watching um, on YouTube, you can catch it later today. Join us tomorrow with host Wendy Steinberg for Wendy Wednesday. Once again, this has been Olivia Cohen with Good Morning Hebrew Home. We will see you tomorrow, same time, same place, same channel. Um, Cohen out.